So it's uh, 7.30 on Wednesday the 21st of Feb. Uh, as you can see, that's pretty much the ex full extent of damage we've received from the ex-cyclone Gita has blown the fence down. So that fence will be going back up once the wind slows down a bit. Uh, the other decision we've made today is that the trucks that come in, they'll come in from here and then we will walk them out the back. That saves us having to clean up the uh, having to clean up Maison Garb Road. Uh, but essentially the plan for today is much like it was yesterday, so little final tweaks uh, as we move towards the last week of earthworks and I'll show you what I mean by that. But a little job would be uh, looking from this peg here and then looking straight out to the next orange peg which is just about there. All of this stuff here needs to be pushed back so we're just going to push that back. So uh, little tweaks and of course we're still we're continuing to cart in the sand because we have to get it up to level, like I said, kind of like every day since then, so you can see that's the level we need to get it up to, uh, with again, with this one being the highest, so lots of little tweaks, we're down a truck because uh, Centennial Highway just south of here is closed, so we're down one truck, but uh, hopefully that won't delay us too much. Alright, so there is the laser. And what we've been doing is we took some heights off of the existing cutrus pegs and uh, what this does in terms of getting the final touches right, it allows Lewis, just hopping into the bulldozer, to see where he has to bring the sand up to. So on this section here, the sand needs to come up to the top of this peg just over here. So it needs to come literally just up to there, so there's not an awful lot there. And then the other side, or well, this corner of the section rather, it just needs to come up to about there and then there's another bit over here we just need to bring the sand up to top of that peg right there so that's all been measured with the laser and the other good thing is we've uh, the stuff that we can cut off here based on the heights we can literally just push that down to the end we're so just having to cut in the end so what we take off here we just have to build up down there so that's quite good news Now, as it turns out, Simon did get a call from the council last night at about 9.30, just about the fence, saying that the wind did knock the fence down. Uh, we've tried to put it up this morning, but the wind blew it back down, and it's, uh, it looks as though it's actually blowing over the footpath at the moment. So, um, instead of putting it up, we're just leaving it down for now, because obviously it's there to stop people getting in, but if we put it up, and we've got the school kids net walking past on the pavement side, which is the same side that the fence is blowing onto, Obviously that becomes quite a bad hazard, so we're leaving it as is just for now, but we'll get that up as soon as the winds die down. It's 12.54, you can see that the sand is up to level on that post there, as well as that peg down there. Uh, and you can see that they brought it up a fair bit, so that's up at level here, which is good. So uh, if we look at where we are, in the wider scheme of things, you can see that this is the end of the road, cul de sac turning circle and um, slowly coming up the height. Still got water coming here, but obviously we've been bringing sand in all morning and now uh, you can see that's coming up to height which is good. As you can see along there you've got the, you've got the corner of the road just built up here and when you look at the level here you can kind of see the level just around there. That's pretty much up to level there now which means that's hopefully the last of the road works other than what it sinks in terms of um, compacting it down. We'll take a cross to look at the section over here. So here is the peg from this morning. That's still probably a bit higher. I think we need to come up to the top of that. You can see the blue peg over there. And uh, there's that little side one down there. However, as you can see this part just here, that kind of steps up a bit. And because those three pegs are all on the same height, you can see we've actually reached level over on this last one, just over here. So uh, essentially this section is pretty much all up to height, or at least the pad, the building pad on this section is up to height. And if you look at this peg in the end of the right away, you can see we've still got to dig down. We've got 500 mil just from the end there. Uh, however, you can see we've done a, started digging out here and moving it across. And uh, because it gets higher up that end, so it's higher up that end, which means all the water is going to come down here and go into that manhole there. Uh, what it means is that this is good that it's down low, and that sand that we've pushed out of here just goes on to level that out. So all going well. Hopefully this weather keeps up, the wind keeps up, it'll dry out a lot of the topsoil uh, combined with the sand and then we can start leveling or lowering this down as I said yesterday so we can put a bit of a 
I um, just kind of box it up at the side to load raise the fins. We can push all of this unsuitable material down to the uh, fence over there. So that's quite good. Hopefully we, you know, we've seen the end of the earthworks or the, the major earthworks this week, but um, we can over you. Okay, so it's a 10 past five on Wednesday, 21st of Feb. And you can see that on this top section here, uh, we're pretty much essentially up to height here. So it just has to come up to the top of this peg. However, you can see Lewis is coming in and when we push that across, we'll pretty much be there, which means that this section is just about up to height. Uh, we've been pushing up the road and you can see the dump truck there is rolling it. So that's almost the height. So it's uh, made some good progress today. Hopefully no more earthworks this week. So not a lot of change since lunchtime, just more of the same. Um, overall, a good day's progress.